blow off valve. See, the blow off valve sound only sound. You can only hear the sound once. It's really stupid. Alright guys, we are going to go for a 2,000 horsepower V8. We are going to bump our quality up, bump our tech gear up. We're going to start with a V flat plane. I honestly have no clue what the difference is between a V8 and a V flat plane. A flat plane V8 shares the same crankshaft design as an inline 4. The crank pins are in a flat plane. Oh, okay. Magnesium block, full bore, full stroke, billet steel, I beam titanium, lightweight forged, and top end, full quality, dual overhead cam, five valves, aluminum silicate. We're going to do no compression, full cam profile, VVT, no VVL. The style doesn't really matter, but we're going to chrome it out. Well, maybe not. Anyway, uh, full quality did I do right. Turbocharged, twin turbo with a ball bearing, water, air, huge. We're going to start with the race setting. We're going to go to our fuel system, we're going to change this to injection, direct, throttle per cylinder, race, highest quality fuel, Man, then 1301, high timing, high RPM limit, oops, quality up, exhaust, up, short cast, dual, no need bypass valve, 6 inch, none, 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 so big ass freaking mufflers. Oh my god, those are huge exhaust pipes. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll make this revision one. And we are going to test it. And aside from blowing out at 8800 RPM, we have managed 2139 horsepower, but we are not finished. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to knock this down to 8500 so we can have some successful tests. Um, then we are going to put our AR ratio up, max boost up, wait, interesting. Then we are going to play around with the compressor and turbine until we can get maximum... We want the biggest compressor possible, of course. It's the turbine that we have to worry about. Go up. Still going up. Oops, did it start going down? Alright, we're going to try that. Um, and then the fuel, we might need more fuel, but let's try this again, version 2, and go. Oh, what? Too much torque. Alright, so we need to change to forged pistons. Try it again. Whoops. And 2,430 horsepower. It looks like our red line is going to be a little lower. And we have an almost perfect fuel mixture. Well, let's see. It looks like we might actually be able to run it leaner. 
Um, first, let's start with our. Well, I guess it's all in the same menu. Let's try thirteen and a half. Well, no, we'll go one one at a time. <laughs> so this is revision three. Go. So the engine survived the test this time, but it had less power. So we are gonna try bumping the fuel. We'll do an extreme. We'll give it way more fuel. Let's see what happens. like, I don't know, I think we can do more. Let's try more fuel. Talk about turbo lag. 2,541. I wish we had VV, VVL, VV, whatever the hell it's called, so we can um, have it run better <laughs> down low here. Um, okay, let's try more fuel. <laughs> now we'll go half of the time. It's been working pretty good. Save this. Man, even more power. Nice. Look at that. Almost 2600. How long would this engine last? What are the calculations? Oh. It says it wouldn't last at all because apparently, I guess, it's. <laughs> the engine's overheating. But anyway, let's give it some more fuel. Eventually it won't be able to run because of how rich it'll be, but... Man, that sounds awesome. 2,651. Getting richer, that's for sure. I, I don't think it's gonna run on 10.5. We'll see. Oh, it did. Wow. Two thousand seven hundred. Nice. Alright, more fuel. <laughs> Maximum fuel. Beautiful. 2,762 horsepower with 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> it won't fit in any vehicle, I think, that this game allows you to make at the moment. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. 
So we're going to save that. Tune in next time. Oh, well, actually, no, hold on. We're going to go to test mode, and we're going to kind of beat on this engine a little bit, just for fun. Oh, blow off valve. See, the blow off valve sound only sound, you can only hear the sound once. It's really stupid. See, it should have, I don't know. Ooh, look at it overheating. Anything above 5,000 RPM and the turbo system starts breaking down. Nice. Alright. See you guys next time.